Good morning, guys. So it is so super duper early today. It is half seven and, and I can't believe the sun is shining. I'm so happy. I am now going to walk to my friend Tara's house and we are going to walk into the city, which normally takes us about half an hour, 40 minutes. And we are going to go to Primark. We are going to have a shopping day, which we haven't had in ages. And yeah, we are going to have some kind of breakfast brunch type thing as well. So yeah, I'm going to take you guys with us because today is obviously an exciting day for us. So today is Saturday and Primark opened on Monday. So I'm hoping everyone's rushed in all week and it's going to be pretty dead today. Fingers crossed, but it's obviously a Saturday, so I don't think that's likely. But I'm wearing my new dress from Shein with a little belt and I'm wearing my really rank white Converse's because obviously we're walking into the city and back. So I need to be comfy and I have just ordered some new white Converse's so I'm so excited for them to come. They are going to be for the summer and my holiday. So yeah, I will show you, I'll speak to you when Tara's here. So I have now been joined with Tara, my friend, Hi. and she has made an effort. She looks really lovely and done her face, which I have not because I've gone for comfort and in the heat, I don't want to sweat it all off. So we are about 20 minutes away from Primark and I'm now starting to worry about the queues, but Tara thinks it's going to be fine. So I will check in with you again later, but we are so excited for breakfast. So we finished up in Primark, I didn't really film a lot in there because it was, I found it all a little bit scary, a bit intense, I didn't know if I could touch things, I didn't really want to talk to anyone in there, just because it was the first time obviously being in the store since lockdown. Um, and then something eventful happened after that, I will tell you that later though, but we are now just waiting for our breakfast, our brunch, and yeah, I'm really excited. I'm just going to show you my takeaway breakfast i've got a, just a cup of tea and pancakes and bacon and fruit from cafe 33 and i'm so excited to eat this it's much needed after my traumatic morning oh my god i'm so tired what what is the time it's 20 to 1 i've hit 10,000 steps and we are not walking home normally we would but we are gonna get the bus so we have come prepared <laughs> I'm gonna put mine on in a minute um, but yeah we did Primark then had breakfast that I showed you then we went to Poundland and I couldn't stop thinking about this kimono that Tara had picked up from Primark so we went back and we went and got it so I originally got it in black I went back and got it in white Tara got it in white went and got it in black and we even picked up Laura one so yeah I'm about to put my mask on get on the bus and then I'll tell you about my traumatic um, instant poor it wasn't actually about me poor man but i will tell you in a minute hi so i thought i'd just check in now that i am home i'm just making a cup of tea <laughs> every time so i'm now home i'm just making a cup of tea because i am hot stressed out and tired but i just wanted to show you my two favorite things of my haul i've got them all here but i'm not going to show you because i'm going to do a primark call but I think my one of my favourites is this hat. I absolutely love this hat. And I did take a really cute photo of me wearing it. But I will put that up so you can see. And where is it? This kimono, which I got in black and in white, which I explained. But I think the white one is my favourite. I went in for the kimonos, though. I actually went and picked up a swimming costume as well. Not one that I needed, but I saw and I liked. I have seen it on quite a few people's haul videos recently, so yeah, I grabbed that and that was £12. But if you want to see what else I picked up, please keep watching my videos because there will be a Primark haul soon. So 
So I've just got off the phone to my mum. I got home, had a cup of tea, went through all my stuff from Primark and I'm so happy with everything that I picked up. Honestly, I really hope they fit. I've just tried on this um, play suit that I picked up actually and it fits like a dream. Uh, tried a few little bits on and yeah, so I rang my mum to tell her about today just to get it off my chest because I've started worrying about it now. So basically I thought I'd tell you. Um, when I came out of Poundland, uh, not Poundland, Primark, and we were walking down towards, I don't know, if you know Norwich, I was walking down to Cosmos because we were going to Cafe 33 for breakfast. Um, and I like looked to my left and I saw in, it was like in slow motion, this poor man just fell, dropped to the floor. My hair is absolute mess. I need to redo that for filming tonight. And um, I literally just went into shock mode. I was like, Tara, Tara and like ran to him we dropped our bags down and he was having some kind of seizure fit on the floor and um yes yeah, so basically i held his head um on my knees and in my hands while tara rang the ambulance we were with him through, throughout the fit he never he was conscious but he never spoke he was very heavy breathing so we were just like made sure he was calm um, made sure that he didn't hurt his head any more than what he had there was blood um but yeah, so it, luckily I had my mask um, in my bag because you just don't know. So um, I did get Tara to put to put my mask on after I was there with him, um, and I'd after the first seizure, um, paramedic came, ambulance came, um, and he did then have another fear, another seizure. But I just feel so bad because he didn't have a wallet, he didn't have a phone, keys, nothing on him. It like he'd just come out of somewhere for a fag he literally had a fag and a lighter with him um so we don't know who he was um and then the ambulance did go off with sirens so it's just i really i pray to god he's fine um i just hope in that situation if that was me that someone would stop and and help me because there was a lot of people just walking past maybe they just thought that we had it covered and like too many people there but um but yeah, that was traumatic, bless him. Really hope he's okay. Um, but yeah, we after that we went and had a sit down, we had some breakfast, um, went into Poundland, um, grabbed, I picked up two, two pairs of shorts from Poundland, a few bits, but I'm gonna do a Poundland haul, so don't worry about that. I will be showing you them, but mainly the shorts were for work because obviously the sun is meant to come out this week at work and we've got to have shorts that are towards to the knee because um, I work in a nursery, we've got to be appropriately covered. Um, so yeah, and then like I think I've already mentioned that um, I'd been thinking about these Primark products that I hadn't picked up. So we did queue actually this time and run into Primark so that was another £23 but I I said today I'd saved £100 towards it and I did say £200 for today maximum for summer and holiday clothes um yeah £100 I had sold lo I've sold loads of um, my old clothes that didn't fit me anymore before I had lost the weight um so yeah I said and then £100 from payday so I think I must have spent about uh, 130, 150, 160 pounds. Um, that is still a bit crazy, but yeah, I said to Tara, I've got to be so good now for the rest of the month. All the bills are put aside. I put back in my savings what I borrowed from last month. So yeah, I've just got to be really good now. Um, for the holiday, saving money for this holiday. Um, fingers crossed we do get to go. We haven't heard anything. I haven't heard anything back from my passport um, And there's like 56 days before the holiday, so I'm getting a Little bit nervous, but I tried when I was trying on the clothes I was like can we just go on holiday now like I bought a hat. I've never I never wear hats um, But I will show you photos and everything but yeah, so like I say I'm now home uh, David's not here at the moment. I think he may pop in um, he's been out today. I think he's going to pop in, get changed, and then he's got to go to work. Um, I'm not going with him tonight because I went with him last night because I am now going to clean the whole place. Um, we have got builders coming in all next week from 9 o'clock Monday morning till 4.30 each day 
to tile our bathroom. I might show you that later actually, um, the state of the bathroom. We had a flood last September and yeah, only now getting the work done. Um, but yeah, so I need to make sure the bathroom's all clean. It's not gonna be in use all next week. I don't know why I'm gonna clean it for the builders to come in, which makes no sense actually, but I don't want them coming into a dirty bathroom. Um, but I'm going to clean the whole place, have a good old clean. I've opened all the windows because it just felt really like humid in here. Um, Poppy's litter needs changing and then I'm going to have a filming night. I've got Primark Hall, Poundland Hall, Empties video that I really want to film because I've been collecting for about a month, month and a half now. And maybe my weight loss update this week because i've had a weight watchers haul arrive so yeah i'll check in with you later so i have done most of the cleaning i'm on to the last two rooms the bedroom and the ensuite and i have just topped up all my makeup hopefully it looks all right because i'm now going to film david's gone to work so he might be home between 9 10 11 maybe um, yeah, so I'm going to get on and film the Primark haul from this morning, Poundland haul, and also an empties video if I get time. So I'm going to crack on and let's hopefully get this filming done. But I just wanted to show you behind the scenes. That's it. I want to show you the behind the scenes. So this is my Poundland haul. It's quite a big one, actually. Loads of clothes, so I'm really excited to show you guys them. My Primark haul and them. Uh, this is just the tripod I use. So I've shut the window, opened the blinds, and this is my microphone that I'm gonna Here use. is my Primark call, my diet update video, which has got my Weight Watchers order in. This is from my empties video. There's Poundland on the floor, and there's my empties. And these are the bags and the boxes that they all came in. And I'm exhausted already. And I now have to put everything away. Um, I do need to do try-on parts for the Poundland and the Primark haul. But I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do that tonight. Like, I just can't be bothered really. And my bags look so bad. Like, look how tired I am. The last two nights I've had rubbish sleep. And getting up at half six this morning to go to Primark. Yeah. So tomorrow I'm going to really enjoy a lay-in and I'm not going to set my alarm and whatever time I get up is whatever time I get up and then me and Kim are going to go for our run because we have week, we still have one more run of week seven. I can't believe we're nearly at week, week eight is amazing. Two more weeks and we've done it. Um, so the plan now is to tidy the bedroom. I need to put the sheets on a wash. Um, try not to eat anything because I want to have tea with David when he's home. And yeah, I really need to do my eyebrows tonight. Like I've draw coloured them in for the video, but I don't know if you can see, but they are really out of shape and underneath. And I might dye dye them as well using the tattoo brow. So then I don't have to keep filling them in. And especially with the sunshine that we're expected to get next week, I don't really want to keep doing that. So I apologise if you can hear the washing machine going. I have finally finished every single room. I've cleaned all the units, hoovered. Um, the bed sheets are on in the washing machine. That's what you can hear. And yeah, it's like half seven, eight o'clock maybe. Um... Yeah, David said he could be still at work till about 9, 10, so it's going to be a late tea. So I had a packet of Weight Watchers crisps. Um, and now I'm doing my eyebrows. So, and then I'm cleaning my makeup brushes. So, yeah, it's going to be a long night. But my eyes look really green. So I washed my makeup brushes. These are the only ones that needed washing. Then ones I have took them all out the cup, washed the cup, washed all the utensils, but then ones were fine. So these ones are just drying and I have been busy making, I know the lighting's rubbish, but jelly because jelly has been my favorite snack this week with fruit in, as you can see. So it's just setting now and then I'll put it in the fridge. 
just to pre-warn you, I have got a face mask on. I thought I'd pre-warn you before I just show you this. Um, I've got a bit of a... Yeah, I've um, I washed my face, done my eyebrows, washed my face, cleansed and big face wash. I've put this peel off um, charcoal face mask on. I've used them um, like face razors. I've done that. Um, and yeah, I think I'm now going to go put on the tattoo brow and I'll come back with you. Um, yeah, and then I will show you. I'll come back in a minute. So I have got my tattoo brow on. I think that's like I've made a mistake there. Might have to touch that up. I don't know how that happened. Um, yeah, and I'm going to put a quick YouTube video on and do my hula hooping. I'm getting tired now. I've been up since six on a Saturday. So it is 10 to 11, and sorry, my face is so tight now, I need to take this off. Um, and I've just got a call from David to say he's on the way home. He's got to do two more deliveries on the way home, and then he can come straight home. So late, and I don't actually know why I thought it was a good idea to not eat and wait for him to go home, but I wanted to have tea together. So yeah, so I've just preheated the oven. And we're gonna have beef burgers, which I don't normally like, but they are from M&S, and um, Emma got them from work, and I can't wait to try them. They're really low on points. Um, yeah, three percent fat, and I think she said they were two points each. So we're gonna have these. We're gonna have beef burgers, garlic bread, and baked beans, but I might put some slim wild chips in. But yeah, I'm going to sign off here. I might put a photo of our tea on if I remember. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry I'm ending with looking like this. But you can tell how tired I am. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And yeah, keep an eye out for the Poundland and Primark calls coming up. Bye guys.